Now I used branching for most of the branches and the uh, leaves and all of these little pieces here. I want to do a couple of examples of branching for you. I'll start with this one at the top. It's an easy one. Color 5005. I'm going to assign it. This time I will use the Digitize Open Shape tool. And I'm using left mouse click on all of these. Now I'm using some right mouse clicks. You can tell the difference by listening to the sound of my mouse. Once this is done, then I'm going to come over and select that color. And then I'm going to click on branching. Down in my status bar, it will tell me to enter my entry point. And then it tells me to enter my exit point. And it has organized it so that there are no jump stitches. Now I'm going to undo this for just a moment and I'm going to turn True View off and I'm going to turn the picture off so that you can see the jump stitches. But notice after I applied branching the jump stitches are all gone. So the next piece I want to show you how I use branching was on this set of leaves. I'm going to use the block digitizing tool real close together to get a little point. I didn't change my color. It should be 5510, which is this one. So I'll just double click on it with selected and then it will change it. I'll go ahead and double click on it with nothing selected so that it will assign it as the color to the left. All right, and then we will digitize the rest of these. Notice I'm changing to right mouse cli clicks to kind of give it a curved effect. There's the true view of it. And then I will digitize all of these. Okay, I have them all digitized, but I want a little bit different look for them. So I'm going to select the leaves, and then I'll go back down into my patterns. I could make them a satin stitch, but notice that I've used number 40 here. I use it quite often, 40, 42, these different ones. They give you a kind of a textured look. And to give some 3D into the design, I decided that I did not want to use a satin stitch for these because so much of the other pieces need to be a satin stitch, like the flower petals with it. All right, so I have selected those. Then I will go in and use a satin stitch for the um, stem. And you could use a regular satin stitch or you could use your block digitizing. I chose to use the block digitizing. Notice that this piece of the stem is on top of that petal. And I'd really like for that last petal there to be on top of this one. So I'm going to go into the objects. Scroll down to the bottom until I find it. I'm going to select it. There it is. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that below that stem. Now notice that it is stitching on top of that stem. And I simply did that by moving my object in the resequence docker. Okay, I'm going to use branching because if I take true view off and remove my picture, you'll see that it's got jump stitches between these. And that's not necessary when we use branching. Also notice that I do not want to make this as part of branching because I want it to stitch last on top of this. If I made it part of the branching, then I can't 
determine when that's going to stitch. So I'm again using my resequence and I will select the first one and I'll go down and select those. Those are the only ones I want to be branched together. I did not select, nor did I include, this last petal here. Then I will go to branching. I'll tell it to start there, to stop there, and then it will stitch that out without any jump stitches. You see it's taken the jump stitches away. And I have this one stitching on top of that.